It's pretty cool if you want to see it. All right. All right. Well, glad that you guys can hang out with me tonight. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you one last thing, and I'm going to talk about this, which is AI Builder. So AI Builder is custom prompts and being able to build your own custom prompts without having to stand up a whole Azure AI infrastructure and things of that nature. So you can build your own custom prompts. You can provide inputs into your prompt. You can also connect it to Dataverse data. And you can do this uh, in your topics or uh, topic level intent type of scenarios. So what I want to show you is something that I think is really cool. Yes, I did a video on this, but I want to show you how I can do this and make it something that you can take back and go, wow, this is something I'd really like to be able to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to alt tab back over uh, really quick. And we're going to switch back to our original Copilot that we were playing with with the Microsoft Store. Now imagine, if you will, that I'm in a situation where I don't want to have it where someone is asking questions and those questions are going back and uh, like I'm asking a question that's going against the public website. It's going to query Bing when it goes to do that. But what if someone is passing their personal identifiable information into that query and I don't actually want it to go there? Like I don't want generative answers to ever answer a question where someone is providing their personal PII. Right, I want to take that out, uh, that capability out. So let me show you how to do this in my video that I show on my YouTube channel. I don't show you how to do it as a default, so I'm going to show you how to do that. And it's actually not too complicated. So the first thing is we'll go into topics. Know that there's system topics. The conversational boosting topic is the topic where if I don't know what you said, where I'm going to say I want to search. And this right here is the generative answers node that will make this go and search against uh, the, um, the different sources that, I, that I've provided inside of knowledge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and I'm going to say I want to call an action. And you'll notice here that I have this AI builder. You can see here you can create a prompt, but I've already created one. And the one I created is actually one that checks for PII. So the first thing we want to do is we want to come in and use a system variable, and we want to use activity.txt. And activity.txt is the last thing you said to this copilot, so whatever the user typed. And then what I want to show you is I want to show you this, which is let's click on the AI Builder implementation, and let me show you how this works. It's pretty simplistic in the way that it goes about it. Um, but I want to make sure that you guys kind of see how I did it. So here's my prompt where I'm saying, look in this query and tell me if someone said something in this query uh, that contains PII. Now, if I come over here, you can e actually test this, and you can see here's where I call it query. So that's what this is. And then you're going to see that my email, like I put in here some sample data. So if I test this against the sample data, we should get back that this is true. And it's going to say, yep, you have PII in this. Now, just to show you what else the AI Builder has in it, you can see here I could come in and add Dataverse tables. You can filter those Dataverse tables. You can insert stuff uh, over here once you add them. You can also say how you want the output versus text or JSON. And here you can determine if you want GPT-4.0 or 3.5. And then this temperature thing is how creative do you want the response? Do you want it really restrictive or do you want it really creative? And so that's basically what you're going to see inside of AI Builder. So once you've done this, you'd hit save, but we've already saved it. And then all I'm going to do is say that what I want it to do is I want to create a variable. And in this variable, we're going to say uh, PII uh, result. And we're just going to save that variable as this. Notice it says it's a record here. Now, what I need to be able to do here is I need to be able to put some logic. And I'm going to go ahead and say, well, I need an if statement here. So I'm going to add my if statement. I'm going to say if PII result dot text because it automatically parsed out. Because what you're going to see is that in that response, we get the text response and we also get the finish reason as part of the AI builder response because it said it was a record. But I want the actual text. I want the true or false to 
uh, that came out. I'm going to tell it that I want in without case sensitivity. So I want to know if it says at any point that it's false. And the response, I want it to follow this path. Otherwise, I want to do this. I want to send a message. And when I send this message, I want to actually say something back to the user and say, hey, wait a minute. I don't want you. Um, I'm sorry I can't do this because you've passed personal information. And then what I want to do is I want to come into topic management and I want to end the current topic. Now, the rest of this logic was fine, right? So what I want to do is I want to grab that and I can hold down control and, and do a multi-select here. Oh, I'm sorry, hold down shift. And you can see here, I've got all of this. Now this is the beauty of the cut and the paste. And voila, we have now created the ability to be able to check for PII. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save this off and we're gonna test it. So let's go ahead and grab a statement. Again, this was for our Microsoft Store scenario. So let's ask a question that maybe it shouldn't answer. And here I'm asking it if I can get the get order it and then get the receipt sent to my email address. And what you're gonna see is if you watch it, it's gonna follow this pattern up here. You'll actually see it come down and, and fire in just a second. Do, do, do. It's probably having to wake back up for me not touching it for a minute. Oh, see it fired and it came down here. Notice it got the result and it went this direction. And it says, I'm sorry, I can't, you can't do that because of what you said. Ask it without. So let's ask it is ask the question without. Oh, sorry. Let me delete that. I didn't copy it properly. Copy. If you didn't notice, that was the JSON, that was actually the YAML <laughs> from where we copied it before. And I'm gonna say, if I want to order it uh, and notice that I'm asking about a receipt, I didn't put PII in. And now watch the difference when it comes in, it goes the opposite direction and it answers the question. 